Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in the beautiful northern Idaho, as you guys can probably tell, and we could be exploring a totally new to me creek. This water is absolutely crystal clear. The only problem is I've actually never fished this particular stream, and I'm not even sure there's fish in it. Rumor has it around our area here in northern Idaho that back in the day when they used to conduct all the mining operations, this particular creek had so much contamination from the waste from those activities going into the water there's pretty much no fish in here so nobody really fishes it i wanted to find out for myself so i decided to come out here and try it today Today, I'm using my five weight Echo Trout. We got 4X leader on here. We're gonna start with the Stonefly because that was the first thing in my box and that's what I used here in Idaho about a week ago and I did very well on it. We'll start there and we'll go from there if I see anything else hatching. But you guys just look around me, the scenery is so breathtaking. There is no way there's not at least some fish in here, but let's find out. Yeah, see that I missed a couple little guys. Not quite what we're after though. Nice little guy. Not quite what I'm looking for, but that should get the skunk off at least. Guys, there's no way this hole right here does not have a fish in it. Just look at that. If I was a trout, I'd live right under that log. Let's give it a shot. You guys, we even have the sun coming out. It was kind of a cloudy day. Now we got a little bit of sunshine. Oh, my reel's broken. My drag's busted. Oh well. Fish on guys, fish on. Yes, I knew it. Right by that log. Holy moly. Let's get my net. I knew there's gotta be a fish in here. Come on, little guy. He's not big, but that's a fish. Check it out, you guys. He ain't no monster, but that's definitely a cutthroat. Let's put him back. Come on, little guy. There's something so satisfying about putting a dry fly right where you think there's gonna be a fish, then actually hooking the fish. Oh, there was just a bite in there. It's like, you guys, I just had a bite right in that little slack water behind the log. But it's really hard for me to get a good drift in there, so I'm gonna do my best. I think these fish are actually hiding in there out of that current. See, he's just ripping my fly right out of there. These kind of spots are historically really hard to fish. You just can't get a good presentation. So you guys can see what I'm doing is I'm actually holding my, my rod way up and keeping that fly line out of the current. And I got like four seconds for him to strike it. 
Nope. Just look at the scenery. Just look at this beauty. There's a waterfall over there in the corner right behind me and this river is just gorgeous. All these mossy cliffs out here is just breathtaking. You guys can see it, but you see that little log right there and that little ripple? You guys can see how the water kind of runs up and creates a little pool over there with some moving water. I have a good feeling there might be a trout in there, so I'm going to go put my fly in there. This reel is giving me trouble. Oh, I gotta eat. Got him. Check him out, you guys. Beautiful little trout. Definitely fishing here. Now what I like to do is when I do find a new creek like this is I like to just explore up and down, find some holes, explore different areas. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Whew, first we gotta climb this hill. So basically I'm just gonna move along this road that basically follows this little stream along. And what I'm doing is I'm actually just kind of peeking at spots through the trees on the side of the road here. I'm basically looking for some type of a structure, some type of a deep hole. You guys can see the color changes basically in the water. It'll go from like this ripples over little rocks to like a nice big blue cool and that's kind of what I'm looking for and that's what I'm going to target and a special shout out to my wife we got courtesy of Sarah here I got some lunch so fish on guys fish on yes Check them out, you guys. Check out this log jam behind me. Then you have the log jam there with a bunch of structure. That looks really juicy right in there. There's gotta be a trout in there. Let's hit it. I cannot believe nothing's biting in here, you guys. This thing looks so juicy. If I was a fish, I'd live in here. It's gotta be something in here somewhere. Got him. <laughs> Check it out, you guys. Nice little cutty. Another fish on. Swim on, little buddy. Well, one thing I can tell you guys is this river is kicking my butt. Just goes to show you guys I don't always come out here and just kill it. Some days it's a struggle bus. At this point, it's about. 5 30 p.m. you guys it's gonna be evening well it's already evening so gotta make something happen here fish on guys little guy huh. another little guy he came off good self-release
All right, you guys, unfortunately, I am running out of sunlight at this point. It's absolutely stunning scenery. It's an honor to come out here and explore. We have so many creeks out here in northern Idaho, you guys. There are just endless tributaries and streams. You can spend your whole lifetime exploring them. And I mean, look at these cliffs and these runs, you guys. What else can you ask for? That'll be it for this video, you guys. I'll see you in the next adventure. Thank you for watching. Bye.